Hey everyone, it's another, it's a beautiful snowy day today. Beautiful, look at this. We haven't had this much snow in Washington in a long time, like a couple years. And it's perfect. It's like 33 right now, not very windy, you know. You got three layers like me. You good, you good. It is so beautiful out here. I love where I live. Hope you guys have a great day. Hi everyone, this is Austin from Robles. It's about 7.30 right now. It's another day of light eating. Um, you know, you don't need much when you're on these high water content, alkaline, fruits, juices, citrus. So, I broke my... 19 hour dry fast at around 220 today I had um, a half a gallon of tangerine juice I didn't drink it all at once I drank about you know about a quart of it first which is about half of it and I just sipped on the rest um, on my 10 minute breaks at work so you know I have a 40 minute break for my lunch and then two tens so I like to split it up and then, you know, it's not as hard of a digestive load all at once, you know, so I can just absorb those juices and just get all the energy from that and just get the cells hydrated and all that good stuff, you know, all those phytonutrients. Um, so I just got that tangerine juice with the pulp from Trader Joe's. It's great stuff. I don't know how they afford $5 for a half gallon. Kind of crazy, fresh squeezed, not pasteurized. Um, so I really like that, you know. I wish Trader Joe's would cut down on their plastic, of course, but you know, I try and buy things there that don't have so much packaging. It's ridiculous. So yeah, that's all I had today was just the tan half gallon of tangerine juice. That just keeps me so full and satisfied. It's ridiculous throughout the day. So here, I got mangoes, I got mangoes, got five mangoes here, I got so many ripe mangoes, like they're kind of like, you see that, they won't, it doesn't even bounce back, it's like, they're like, eat me, can't really see the wrinkles on here, maybe you can. This one's more wrinkly. Eat the wrinkliest mangoes first. That's my rule. The wrinkliest ones. So I just have these in my garage right now because it's like, you know, it's like 30 degrees outside. So I figure my garage is like 40 degrees, maybe 50. It says the best storage for these are around 50 degrees. And to ripen them, it's more like 60, 70. So they're ripe, they're ready to go, so I just stuck them in the garage so they'd last longer. I don't want them to go bad, and I don't want to put them in the fridge because just the refrigerated fruit is it's not good. It's not ideal most of the time, in my opinion. I like to eat the fresh, living, room temperature, you know, fruits. So yeah. <coughs> I'm just gonna go in on this mango. I got a really wrinkly one, so do this one first. Oh my gosh. Just made like an explosion sound and I popped it open just like juice just pouring out. Oh but eating mangoes is too messy. I freaking love it. They're good for your skin. Just rub your fruits all over your skin. It's probably the best thing you could do. People putting all kind of weird stuff on their skin, I swear. The weirdest stuff, like oils and stuff, that soaks into your skin. If you don't eat oil, why would you put oil on your skin? I don't know. I only put food on my skin. I only put fruit on my skin because I eat fruit. And you eat with your skin. That makes sense. 
Oh yeah. Oh my god, yes. Wow. Once these go to ten dollars a box, I'm going on Mango Island, man. Mango Island. Right now they're like thirteen dollars a box. Not bad. But when they get further into the season. Ten dollars a box. Sixteen mangoes. It's like four meals for me. Four meals for ten dollars. Like who can say that? How many people can say that? Come back up a little bit so you guys can see. Hmm. Man, I love this so much. I'm so blessed. My current situation. So blessed. I'm so grateful. So grateful for you guys watching. Sending love and blessings to you guys. <coughs> Delicioso. Okay, this one's got a brown spot. I don't know. Looks like I can eat around it, though. Let's see. Mm. If you get an avocado or a mango or any fruit with a brown spot, make sure to taste it first. Don't just be like, ew, throw it away. Because a lot of times there's still a lot of edible flesh. Like, look at that. It's like all brown at the bottom. But there's still a lot of edible good juiciness. Hmm. Going for this guy. Can't really see in this lighting, but this is like the most orange mango I've ever seen. It's like not even yellow anymore. Straight up orange. Well, I guess it's like golden. But the other ones were a bit more pale. And they still taste great, so. This one should be amazing. So the hype is real. Looks good. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Wow. I'm sorry if I'm I'm not even overblowing it. Like these mangoes are free. so good. 
please go out and eat some high water content seeded fruit. Don't eat that seedless fruit. It's not going to give you the same energy, the same high vibrational levels that the seeded fruit is going to give you. High water content. Higher than 70%. We're 70% water. People are eating all these cooked foods. You know, and... It's literally no water. They're not eating raw fruits. They're not eating raw vegetables. And that's like your best source of water. Like even drinking, like purified water or... Even distilled water. I prefer distilled water, of course, because it doesn't leave behind mineral deposits in the body. It just rocks. Like, mm. But anyways, 70% water or more. That's what your food should have. To replenish the water inside you otherwise you're going to be dehydrated you're going to be constipated for eating anything else you're constipated you might not think you're constipated you're like ah, oh, it's just normal but it's the truth man The water doesn't hydrate you, it just goes through your system. There's benefits, of course, like anything, but... You know, nothing is gonna get you the levels of fruits. Even vegetables, but fruits vibrate at the highest frequency. Raw foods vibrate at the highest frequency. Especially seeded tropical fruits. The more local it is to your area, the better. The more, you know, the less hands that have handled it, the better. I got some avocados from Miami Fruit that were probably only handled by one person maybe two people and then they're given to me and then I hold them for 20 seconds because that's what um, the medical medium recommends and then the avocado is mine you just hold a fruit for 20 seconds and it aligns with your energy it's uh, what I read in the medical medium book I'm a real big fan of that Anthony Williams Tulfo mangoes are one of the greatest variety ever. Ever since I found these, I'd never, I'd never want to go back to Kent mangoes. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. These things are next level. They barely leave any strings in your teeth when they're ripe. And Kent mangoes are just like dull. Just pale and boring. with the yellow skin on the outside of the mango. Fruits with colors, the more color it has, the higher vibration it's gonna have. Like purple, purple fruits, super high vibration because the darker it is, the more melanin content it has. I'm done ranting. Thank you guys so much for watching. I just downed all five of those mangoes. That's the only solid food I had today. It was just five mangoes. Had that tangerine juice. Wow.
That is a great way to eat for the day. It's a great way. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this uh, kind of different video. Super long rants. Um, I know a lot of people like the shorter videos, but you know, I like to mix it up a little bit. Gotta spread this information, this wealth of knowledge. So, uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, make sure to like if you enjoyed. Comment below. All my links to social media are in the description. And as always, make sure to eat raw, stay blissful, peace and love.